Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. We begin with breaking developments in a car explosion at a U.S.-Canada border crossing. The fiery blast captured on camera. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey live in the newsroom for us with new details just in. Megan? Right, Joe and Erica, we just heard from New York's governor who reiterated several times that at this point there is no indication that this was an act of terror. But investigators have not determined whether the high-speed crash and explosion was intentional or an accident. First, take a look at this video just released by Customs and Border Protection. In the upper right-hand corner, you can see a speeding white car launch into the air over what Governor Hochul described as an eight-foot fence. And we've been on heightened alert since October 7th. That's why it's so important for me to stand here and tell the world based on what we know at this moment, and again, anything can change, there is no sign of terrorist activity with respect to this crash. Video shows massive flames and thick smoke at the Rainbow Bridge border crossing between Canada and the United States. The bridge is located less than a mile from the well-known waterfalls. Surveillance video posted to Twitter also appears to show the moment the speeding car hits a pylon and erupts in flames. Governor Hochul confirmed that two people died inside the vehicle that exploded. She said the car was destroyed in the crash, so they don't even have a license plate to work with right now. Heavily armed officers and tactical vehicles could be seen shortly after the blast. One witness said the car appeared to be driving over 100 miles per hour when it became airborne. Then all of a sudden I saw black smoke and then fire. There was no explosion, just the black smoke. And then, then there was so much smoke, it was unbelievable. After a while, it probably took five minutes for law enforcement to get here. And Governor Hochul also said that a Customs and Border Protection employee was injured but has since been treated and released. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. All right, Megan, thank you very much.